Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the previous video of the Python Selenium, I show you how we set up the Python Selenium and how we run the Python Selenium test. In this video, I am going to show and discuss about more details about the Selenium script, like how we launch the browser, Chrome, Firefox, Edge browser, and how we navigate the URL. Okay, so. Then I will also show how we enter the uh, text into the text fields, okay, and how we click on the any particular buttons. So now let's see. Here I have opened the Visual Studio Code. So basically, Visual Studio Code is working on uh, based on the folders. So let me create one folder here, Selenium Python. Copy this folder and go back, click on here, open folder, paste the path here, click and select. You can see here folder is opened. Now we can start adding the file here. So right click, new file, create one file here like demo dot .ui file. So if you don't know how we set up the Visual Studio for the Python, so I have created one video and added also the link in the description box. You can go and watch the video to set up the Visual Studio for Python. Now next, I have already installed the Selenium web driver by using the pip command. Okay, so this is the prerequisite. While going to start the Selenium test, first of all, you need to install the Python as well as the Selenium module. All those details you will get in the, my previous video. Now here I am going to show directly how we create the test. So first of all, we need to import the here like from Selenium import web driver. Then we need to create a driver object by calling web driver dot Chrome. So if I am calling here the Chrome driver, it means I am going to run the launch the Chrome browser. Let me run here and you will see run Python file in terminal. So you can see Chrome browser opened. This driver object, right? If I will want to navigate the URL, then there is a driver dot get method we need to call this and pass the url like i am going to call here facebook.com you can see here facebook.com opened and okay so here driver.get and i am passing url so this get method will navigate the url on the browser and using the webdriver.chrome, it will launch the browser and session will store in a driver object. Now, using this session, we need to perform remaining actions on the browsers. If we destroy this section, if this, this, this uh, session is destroyed, okay, in that case, we are not able to perform any action on the browser. So, this driver.get method I am calling to navigate the URL. So now if I want to perform the next action, like here enter some name as well as the password. So in that case, we need to capture the locators, okay? And locator is in the form of either ID or XPath or name. So there are multiple type of locator we can use. As of now, I'm going to pick the ID. So this is the ID, copy this. Now here write the code, driver, dot find dot by dot id equal to this id value now we need to import the by here so how we import so use the from then dot selenium dot deep driver dot common dot by and import by okay so what is the use of driver dot find element 
basically driver dot find elements will capture the element okay and store in a element object so driver dot find element will return the wave element object this one now once we receive the wave element object then in that case using this element object we can perform any actions right on the particular element now here suppose that i am going to use the enter some text so there is a send keys methods here we can use and pass some value like i am giving here name testing test at the rate gmail.com so when element so first of all it will capture the wave element object and store in element variable now using the send keys method we can enter the text into input box if we want to clear the input box before going to enter some things then there is a clear method we can call element dot clear methods so this is the steps to enter to clear the user input box and then enter the email id next we need to pass the password so again i need to call this driver dot find element by dot suppose that i am going to use id and here pass the id id of the element so what is the id here so if i go you can see pass his id copy this id return back here paste what is this function will return driver dot find element it will return the element object so let's store another element right password element pass then let's clear the input by using the clear method and then send keys right send keys will help to enter the value in input box test box okay this will help next option we need to perform the click action on the browser like login button so let's capture the login button id so here is a name right right if this id dynamic seems dynamic let's use name so i am going to copy this name this is login so now need to call again driver dot find element by dot name okay this time i am using name so i will provide by the name so this will also return the element so let's give the variable name login element login button element okay now next i need to perform the click so let's call the click method so there is a click method so if we want to click method so it will perform the click on that particular element now our one simple test is ready where i am performing the four actions navigating the urls send keys on the username send keys on the password and click on login button so now let's see i am going to run this you can see test is running so fast that's why we are not able to see so let's pause so here i'm going to some sleep so that we can show the execution it will not close the browser yeah you can see here now enter username password this is wrong so that's why we are getting password that you entered is incorrect forgotten password like this okay now suppose that if we want to run this test on a firefox browser currently i am running on the chrome browser right so that's why here we call that webdriver.chrome but if we want to run the this on the firefox browser so let's comment this and here create only i need to call here firefox plus you need to create firefox object let's now run and you will see now test will run on a firefox browser 
So open the Firefox browser, navigate at the URLs, and you can see this is Firefox browser. Same test is running on Firefox browser. Only I need to change here the initially how we create the object. Let's see, stop this. For each browser, let's see what we need to change. Okay, commenting the first one, this one, and then here we need to change edge. And now run. Yeah, test is running on edge browser. So this is the edge browser. You can see edge browser. Okay, let's stop the session. So this is a very small script, right? Where I am launching the different browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Edge. Only we need to change initially. Rest of the code is same, right? If we launch the browser, Chrome browser, then it will launch the Chrome browser and store in object, in driver object in driver variable. Remaining this subject, I am using rest of the steps. Similar type, if we want to run the test on the Firefox browser, I need to change only here. Web driver dot Firefox. For edge, we need to change here dot edge. Rest is same. So what we learned here, we learned here how we launch multiple different browsers for Firefox, webdriver dot Chrome, for Firefox, for Firefox, webdriver dot Firefox, for Chrome, webdriver dot Chrome, for H, webdriver dot H. How we navigate the URLs, we need to call the driver dot get method where we can pass the URL of the application. How we clear the input box? First, we need to capture the element of that input box using driver dot find element by passing the locators. Okay, it will return the wave element object. Using that wave element object, we can clear the input box as well as we can send the keys, means we will enter the text. Similar type, we have password. For login button, we need to call login object dot click methods, right? So first we need to get the object of that element, then using that object call the click method. Hope this will be helpful to start the Selenium test, right? To get understand how we create the object, driver object, browser object, how we navigate the URLs, how we enter the text, as well as clear input box. Okay. So in next session, we will discuss in more details for different functionalities. Thanks for watching the video.